Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Port Elizabeth Career Mode. We've won a couple games. Um, we've played some reasonable cricket, uh, so I'm looking forward to bringing you guys this episode today. Uh, we're trying a bit of fight, uh, which is what I want to see. So, um, Port Elizabeth, you guys were last here for the three defeats at the start, but we, um, after that, um, beat Cape down by 47 runs with um, an all-round effort from the team. Wessels, 40 of 29, four fours, three sixes. Ben De Bruin, 33 of 15, six fours and a six. Ethan Miller, 44 of 21, four fours and three sixes. But yeah, cameos, Mulder, 30 of 10 at the end. Got us to 200 for eight. Uh, three fists for Bernard and Strydham. We've got them restricted to 153 for eight with English, three for 27. And three for 34 for Mulder. And Mulder was the deserved man in the match. And then we had a five wicket defeat. We got through to 153 for seven. Ben De Bruin playing one of those innings again. 36 of 43, a wee bit too slow. Uh, Rose 47 off 34. Wilkinson with a good 25 10 towards the end. 4 for 28 for Dilema. He is um, a very, very good um, player uh, for them. And yeah, 157 for 5. We had them 87 for 4. We had them in a wee bit of strive. Uh, 2 for 26 for Hudson. 2 for 21 for Rutherford. A wee bit disappointing from Khan. None for 50. Everyone else was relatively not too bad with the ball. And we beat East London, top of the table by 40 runs. Uh, won at 79 for three uh, with a good start there for uh, Ben De Bruyne again. 36 of 22. Four fours and two sixes. He's been in good form, uh, surprisingly, without getting a 50. A lot of nice 30s and 40s there. It's, it's good to see um, him in a wee bit of form. So uh, Rhodes with his career best for us here at 72 of 46. Albani, uh, 49 of 38. And we restricted them to 139 away out with Rutherford 4 for 27. Khan a lot better in this game. 2 for 25, 1 for 28 for Dupasi, 2 for 17 for Hudson. Uh, Palaya, 34 of 23, top scoring for um, East London. So a good win there. And just an error defeat to Cape Town. It was a pretty close game. Um, 173 for 8 uh, with uh, Palfreman, 47, Benfield, 36, and Brooker, 34. The main scorers. And then we done a good job restricting them after that. 2 for 29 for Hudson, 3 for 38 for Dupasi, and 2 for 35 for Cronier. 169 for Nine. We're looking alright at one point in that chase. Um, again, the opener's got us up to a good start. A couple of 20s in the middle. And yeah, just faltered away a wee bit. Just a wee bit of a shame. But we've got some players back from Judy. Miller and Mulder will add a bit to the uh, team. Hopefully, we get them for a couple of games at least. Mulder will be back in. He'll be in for Cronier. Khan picked up again. Kirsten will get a bit of a game for Ru Truta, who has had a few opportunities now and just hasn't really taken them. He's still a young man, so we'll give him um, plenty of time to develop in the team. But Kirsten will get a shot today. Uh, pretty stable-looking team. Uh, team getting a wee bit of experience. But, yeah, just looking for maybe tipping over East London again will be the goal. Um, we will just take a look at conditions. I think it will be good conditions to chase here. Like With a wee bit of overcast conditions, may get a bit of swing with the ball. This is what I'm banking on, on East London. Dry is gone. That's a good delivery from Hudson. Try and take advantage of the swing conditions. Junior English has been relatively okay in the performances we've had from him so far. He's already 21 years of age. A lot of uh, cricket under his belt already, so it's a good sign that he will get better. 3 for 16. 23, so 39 for 2 after 5. Uh, Rutherford will bowl in over there. 52 for 2 after 6. And now it's just time to put the clamps on and just try to um, limit the damage a wee bit. So they've got off to a relatively quick start. Mulder will be in. Asking Mulder to be a little bit aggressive. Hunt for those wickets. Because we need them. Just to peg East London back. Something that we can chase. We've got a have a bit of belief in the batting unit that we can get the score that we need. Turnover's number 20 off to perceive. Bit of defective today. Rutherford in. Good learning experience for Rutherford this season. Um, with the ball in particular, he's sort of just learning his craft. Number 24, um, English will be back in. And we just need another breakthrough again as this partnership. Slowly taking it away. So Rutherford, he will keep it tight. 110 for three after um, 13 overs. And even though Rutherford's been at Spencer this over, it is going to result in a breakthrough. 
and out for 36 or 45. Was guiding the chase pretty well. Four fours and a six. Had some good support from Brevis and Palai. Duplessis. And Duplessis just to start taking a good amount of wickets. He is a veteran on the side now. He's been ever since our first um, season um, in this team. So he's lead from the front. This is a decent fight back here from the bowlers. Well, double pick from another one. Both going well over 10 and over. We're looking at chasing probably 180 here at the moment. Decent over for um, Hudson. English will get the edge. That's a good, good delivery from uh, Junior English. Stephenson gone for eight. It's been a fantastic overall round. Just got East London back in check, really, and Mulder will bowl the last one. Bit of short pitch delivery stuff. <coughs> one sixty-eight for eight. So it's a competitive score. We've fought back well. Junior English three for thirty. Um, it's been pretty good this season. Yeah, just a chase on our hands here. Can we get off to a good start? That'll be the key. Dale Bryson. Familiar with some of these players in this team. You can see Dale Bryson getting a good amount of game time. However, he is a quality bowler on this day. So I'll be interested to see how his form has continued. When I last played East London, he was taking wickets at 11 apiece. So he was one of the form bowlers of the comp. Shot from Ben De Bruyne. Again, another wee mini start for him. Moves to 23 off 12. Yeah, Dale Bryson's average. 12 wickets at 16.5. That is very good. This is getting that valuable time because he may be called upon for SW Districts when players go away. That's a good shot for Wessels. Good pick up another win here. Just get back in contention for a, um, potentially a playoff spot. The team does lack that guy that can go for the big 100 though at the moment. 20 out of 16 uh, for De Bruyne. As Wessels gets that away for 6 2, so the 50 runs stand between Wessels and, and De Bruyne. It's a good shot. Beats the diving fielder. And this is a bizarre season for Ben De Bruyne. He's had a lot of starts. His average is pretty nice this season. He's really worked hard at that. Average of 35 with the high score only being 43. I'm pretty happy with how he's performed without getting the big score. Keep this partnership going for a little bit if we are to chase something big down. Wessels has got the leading edge. Janssen will get the wicket. 36 or 23 for that. An all-time record partnership between us and East London here. Partnership to be built is going to be the key. Good shot from Ben De Bruyne down the ground. That is four. Back boundaries now. He moves into the 40s now, I believe. That's got over for Port Elizabeth. Exactly what we need. 45 of 29. 45 for one. Throws is out. It's a bit of a blow that. Kirsten in his first game of the season. Just um, stuttering a wee bit now. In this run chase. That is a much needed six and the hundred up for Port Elizabeth. The eleventh over. Sixty-eight runs at seven point five. Kirsten just chewing up a wee bit too many deliveries for my liking. Sixty-three runs at seven point eight. And Bender Bryan will pick up his second fifty in his career for um the Port Elizabeth side. He's been in relatively nice touch without getting a huge score. He guide the team home. Can he get a reasonably um, good score here? And he's gone. So he's got to pick up the scoring rate. But apart for a 57 off 37, 10 fours and a 6. So it was a pretty nice knock from him, really. 
to do the world of good, just getting another 50 and just proving to the uh, proving to me that he can fodder at the level. That's a bit of a dicey shot there from Al Albani. 41 at 6.8 required. A couple of maximums will do well here just to get that scoring rate down. I want to chase this down really, we're good enough to chase this. It's a diving shot. It's four. It's four more. And it's been dropped. Can't be dropping those. Four overs left. 17 needed. Up for 20 off 14. It's a handy 20 off 14 for Albani. He's sort of get the uh, scoreboard going a shot 162 for four this is impressive this is a, this is the showing signs of improvement from the Port Elizabeth side and we will win quite convincingly in the end so that's a great result the side uh, 173 for four with Ben Deron 57 or 37 10 fours in the six Wessels 36 or 23 got us off to a good start Grissom of Bonnie and Player just made sure we got there with a convincing performance. And we're just there or thereabouts in the comp. We're a fair way off the top three. The top three sides have been quite good. This season, we are playing Centurion uh, next. It's a must-win game. Keep that team uh, the same, I think. Pretty happy with how things are going, so we'll go here. Been asked to bat first. We're just going to get a score on the board and just hope we do well enough here. It's Wessels. We look to get the team off to a good start and he hasn't. He's gone. He's gone for four. And LeBron. Can he continue? Just some positive form of late. He's batted reasonably well this um, season. Build that consistency up and get his average above 20. It's gone though. He's had a failure. He's gone for five. Oh, that is a bit of a decent shot. It's four. This is good from Rhodes. Uh, stepping up after a couple of early losses of wickets. 37 to 24. Kirsten's out. 3 for 3 now. Make sure we do get a decent score on the board. Really would love to um, get something to defend. Just with the pitch um, a bit average. But we do have some good up and coming bowlers at this level. Good from John D. Rhodes. He's really taking it on here and he's put up 50. 54 of 31. Second 50 of the campaign. He hasn't gone on with it though. He's gone for 54. He'd be kicking himself. Player gone for North. Mulder and now. Mulder will have to play a bit of a knock here. Just make sure we get to a decent score. He's going to bat sensibly probably for the next bit. is where the South African all-rounder has to get a score and he hasn't. 101 for 6. He uses batting time and just setting our set sights on something respectful. is going to be the key. 26 of 17. 
26 off, 27 off 19 now. And gone. Delivery is bad. Even a run a ball here would get us around that 160. It's really not we can bat them. That's that's going to be our battle here. Sky that. It's gone all the way for six. Gone for eight. One over to bat. Just make sure we bat close to that um, 20 over mark. Okay, we'll take that. It's a four, valuable four. It's the last delivery of the innings, and we've been bowled out for 157, but it was at least we batted the overs out. Rhodes with a very valuable uh, score there, and he's sort of had a really good season with the bat. And ourselves a chance um, in this game. We've just got to start, got to get a couple of early ones. These guys are under real pressure. English to Rickleton. Rickleton is gone. How's Ryan Rickleton been going this season? Hopefully he's got a few scores with the bat. Yeah, no, I'm not too bad actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Like he's really had a resurgence in his career. It was great. Swap out there. Junior English has been pummeled a wee bit. Field outs. Continue to attack, I think, just to try and first and foremost break some partnerships and um, get some wickets. Uh, Dubasi in. Dubasi's probably had one of his worst seasons here for SW Districts. Seven wickets at 34. He's sort of just not the player he was. Can he deliver on this stage? Get his team back in the contest. It's a good catch. Two is one for ten. Okay, with a reasonable job there. Still a comfortable scoring rate here for our Centurion. It's good to see young. Uh, good to see Dupacy get um, amongst the wickets though in this game. We have to attack with our Hudson. Hudson has to sort of um, rip the innings apart. Not going to lie, this has been a good spell from uh, Dupacy. It's not going to be enough, I don't think, though, to take the game. Eighteen off eighteen. Yeah, she's. Just not, didn't quite score enough at the bat. Just need a good tight over here though, just to put Centurion under some, what a pressure. There's a wee bit of pressure starting to build up now, okay. It's a good over in the end. That over only went for one run, so we'll try and um, get the field out, I think. And try to defend this. We win by two runs. Unbelievable stuff. Port Elizabeth fight back. Uh, great, um, a great performance with the ball um, in the end. Um, and we've scrambled a result. Uh, so we have managed to win that by two runs. So I'm stoked. We're, we're fighting back here. We've done a good job to sort of give ourselves a shot. Getting back into it. Taking on first place. We've got Khan back. Although Khan has not been in the greatest of forms and not... SW districts at the moment. But yeah, two two games in the episode so far. We won two games. We have we had to literally win this game too, but I suppose the gap on those top teams will be nice. Uh so the the team is looking relatively solid at the moment. Is anyone out of form? Dubacy. Dubacy's got fought it back a wee bit. But a share of the wickets for the bowlers. Right, let's see how we go here. Bowling first. Wickets are a must. Shaw is a very good batsman. The um, India um, international is gone. And he has some good numbers there for him. Ben Callis. Ben Callis. How good is Ben Callis? He's only just started his career. 
Junior English and um, good areas, good channels. Masango um, will depart. That's now the attack. We'll bring Rutherford in and Mulder in. That's the field and restrictions. Um, over with uh, 38 for 2 after 6. Super C um, will come in. Bowled well in the last game. Number 25 there. Two overs, number 20 for two for C. So the fight back is on. Wilson looking quite good along with Callis. Junior English will be sort of searching for another wicket here just to sort of get these. These wickets are super important. Super expensive over, but the wicket has been taken. Wilson gone for 60 or 40. Good innings from uh, Clayton Wilson. As his career just starts to really lift off, really. And just a couple key moments in this game is we've fought it back. Okay, Dubasee. See, he's got about two of these overs. Leave it Spencer. 10 off the first three. And a wicket. Junior English. We're looking at around 170 probably to chase. Unless we finish strongly here. Let's see he'll pick up another wicket. I've gone for one. 2 for 35 for um two for C today. 159 for eight. It's a competitive score for Johannesburg, but yet another decent bowling performance, Junior English. So they're continuing his good form. 15 wickets and 18 for the season. Um, Hudson, just looking at some of the um, early season reports here. 15 wickets and 18 as well, so doing a reasonable job. Rutherford, sort of 12 wickets at 22. Still learning his craft. And of course, um, Duper C is getting his average back down to where it is. 150 wickets he's picked up in 20 over cricket now. Uh, very, very impressed with that. Six, very slow start. Let's get firing on all cylinders. That's two back to back sixes. Okay, so we'll flick the switch after that slow over. Oh, he's been dropped in to Bruin. Opportunity. Start. Oh, that's a huge over. It's really, it got the innings really fired up now. Swing and a miss. Boundary. Wessels will smoke another six in the over. That's this um, at the moment. One, four, and four sixes in that 30 so far. He's off to a bit of a flyer. That five sixes in his um, innings now, so he's taking it upon himself, the skipper. Oh, he's just hitting them for fun here. This is a bonanza of sixes. Two fours and six sixes in that 47. And the bonanza of sixes continues. Ben De Bruyne uh, joining the axe. Lovely shot. And that's a 50 for Wessels. Very well batted. 95 at 6.7 required. Those are starting to build some confidence. Just want to keep sustaining this rate for a while before we drop some wickets. That could be Ben De Bruyne out. He is. He's gone. He's gone for 15 of 13. can sustain this. We, he needs support though. Someone coming in just belt, keep belting the ball around while he needs to do his thing. 
do since the uh, 70s. Hundred and three for one now. Hundred up for Paul Elizabeth. This is splendid batting so far. Fifty six at um, five point six. Get away for four. It's a good shot. This is a chance to get a bonus point too, um, which will be very much needed in the latter part of the season. Eighty five for forty five, and he moves into the nineties. Another maximum. He's really taking it upon himself uh, to deliver the um the knock that poor elizabeth needed to stay in this competition 26 of 51 deliveries incredible batting new all-time highest score against uh, johannesburg and he's going to be dismissed for 99 he'll be kicking himself he batted so well 11 fours seven sixes his highest score is now 99 oh, he'd be so annoyed 30 or 4.3. Probably wanted to guide the team home too. There's still a job to do for these guys as we um, try to lift the scoring as much as we can. It's a good shot from Rhodes. Just making sure we... Oh, we're just faltering a little bit in this chase. Just want to make sure it ends. It's a good shot. Four more. Animus. Should be a bonus point. It's a good result uh, for Port Elizabeth. 162 for 3 after 16.1. 99 to 55 for Wessels was the main destroyer of that inning. So great knock from him. 7 wicket win and a 5 pointer. This yeah, puts us in contention. So it's starting to get pretty tight the competition now. 3 wins in the episode. Impressive stuff. Uh, you guys will be here if we, uh, uh, we'll just see what we can do here. Try and sneak another episode in. Uh, we'll play two games offline and play Plyle and Bonfontaine in the final, um, couple games of the season. See how we get on. Smash like button, share with a friend. We'll see you next time.